the next image, which is this guy right here, I am going to have him fade in. So how do we do that? We're going to click the little transition icon in the timeline panel, and here's all of the transitions. So we're going to simply click the one that we want and drag it down on top of the clip, and it'll snap. Release it, and now we've got our fade. So let's click our timeline panel, scrub with our playhead, and we can see that he's fading in. But we've got a little bit of transparency going on, right? Because there's nothing underneath. Okay, there's nothing underneath that clip. So if we have it fade in, we have to tell it to fade with a color, or we need to add another layer of color underneath in another video track. Well, why do that? What we're gonna do is change the style of transition. You can do that a couple of different ways. You can click the transition icon itself. It's this tiny little icon. I'll increase my zoom so you can see a little bit more. See, that's the transition icon right there. If you control click it or right click it and are careful not to click this shortcut that comes up, <laughs> boy, there's no way I can do that, is there? I'll scoot it over here. Okay, control or right click the transition, we get a little pop up menu. And that's how you can swap the transition. So to keep me from having any kind of transparency in my image there, we're going to choose fade with black. So now when I scrub through, we don't go to transparency. So it kind of just depends on how you set up your layers panel. Let's say you kept a background layer hanging around at the bottom of your layer stack. That would show up in another video track, and if that background layer were black, then you could have used just the regular fade transition. But most oftentimes when you're fading in and out, you are going to be fading in and out from white or black. It's just common colors used in video. So it's real easy instead just to use this fade with black or fade with white or fade with any other color. So that keeps you from having to have a whole other layer down there just for that color. Okay, so now we're going to keep scrubbing through, and the next transition we want to add is in between our still image and our video footage. So let's add a crossfade, yes? So that'll mean that the still image will fade out as our next clip is fading in, so they kind of cross over each other. So let's go ahead and click to open our transition icon, and we're going to grab the crossfade. And this time, instead of placing it at the beginning or end of a clip, we're going to place it in between. And you can see the little black outline of where that transition is going to land, and you can just drop it. And now when we scrub through, we've got our dude fading out, and we've got our next clip fading in. Now you'll notice that when I choose that transition menu, we have a duration slider at the bottom, so that's letting you enter your durations in seconds. One second is the default, but you can either type in something else here or click that little triangle to get a little slider bar. Or, let's say you don't know exactly the uh, duration that you want your transitions to be, you can visually drag them right down here on the, the clip itself. So see how as I point my cursor to the end of that crossfade, I get that same little bracket that I got when we were trimming clips. So once you see that cursor, you can click and drag and you can change the duration of the transition. See how that's changing down there? So if you want the transition to be shorter, you can drag it to the left. If you want it to be longer, you can drag it to the right. And again, if you'd rather dial in the number, you don't have to go all the way back up here to this menu. You can just do that uh, control or right click atop the transition icon itself, and you can change the duration right here. And if you decide you don't want the transition, you can click the little trash can icon. Uh, but I also think that you can click to activate the transition and press the delete key and that'll make it go away as well. I'm going to undo that so it comes back. So that's all there is to adding a transition. So there's our crossfade. So now we'll come down here 
and we'll do another crossfade. I typically do fades at the beginning and end of the piece and crossfades in between.